Welcome to the Extreme Panzer Leader Night 4 and Night 5 recap. We have the cities, the points, the points per turn, kill points, and the number of turn that we got to, which is 50 here. And we also have the updated consumables here. Let's take a look at the development that happened over the course of the past two nights. We were able to see the French use an auto unlock to get to category six armor, and then subsequently auto unlock the AMX 13. The Polish have no new development updates from the last recap. The Americans were able to get to category five and they have a couple of tanks unlocked. And they also were able to get to category four infantry. We saw the Germans unlock a multitude of tanks and also get all the way up to category seven on their armor. And they are also now up to category three on their infantry with that SS rifleman unlocked. We saw no new updates from the Italians, I believe. Still working with that Panzer III in Category 4 armor. The Finnish were able to get up to Category 5 armor, as well as unlocking a couple of their tanks. They also remain on Category 1, or they actually have Category 2 infantry. Um, with no Category 2 infantry unlocked. The Israelis are still Category 1 armor. They are Category 3 infantry. And they are also Category 3 guns with a couple of guns unlocked. The Jordanians were able to get up to Category 5 armor and unlock a couple of their tanks. They are also Category 4 Infantry, using their auto unlock to get that opened. And they are also Category 3 Guns, with none of their guns unlocked. We saw no new development from the British, still on Category 2 Armor, with Category 1 Infantry. Uh, we saw the Russians auto unlock to get to category 4 armor and then also auto unlock their 18 M3 Lees. We'll get into a little bit of the why later. The Russians are also category 3 infantry. And we have the Arabs using their auto unlock to get category 2 armor and also unlocking the T26B. They have no other categories unlocked. And we saw the one of the biggest development updates is the Japanese getting all the way to category six infantry, obviously using their automatic unlock on that six, and then also unlocking their 12181 kamikazes. They also got to category four guns and unlocked a couple of their guns for that category. And they're still category two transport. So that's it for the development updates. So let's take a look at the map and go over a lot of the large changes that uh, took place. So we saw the Polish completely be removed from the north and the British for the most part being removed. They just remain in one very densely populated city. Um, we saw if we go to the Midwest a little bit, these Israeli guns putting pressure on the Italians and Finnish in the desert, as well as the reinforcements of these uh, large Jordanian tank forces, pushing the Finnish and Italians completely out of the desert as they packed their bags and decided to search for a more suitable war to fight in. In the south, we saw what is being trademarked as the Poor Wars, um, basically a fight between the Russians and the Japanese versus the Polish and the French. 
Um, so we can see a key farm here being fought between these countries. And then also some of these back cities being taken over by the Russians. And as well as the large hilltop, which has one of the key tank battles between the Polish and Russians. We also see the French cleaning up and solidifying their homeland, taking some of the straggling cities here and aiding in the Polish uh, rebuild 